This is Sam. And once again, here is Ken at Big Apple School. And today we're asking what's the crack about? Our experiences in Russia. Part two, 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 two. <laughs> okay, don't overdo it. Okay. <laughs> hey, why don't we introduce uh, to them our friend here? Who is our friend? Well, I bet his name is uh, Sergeant Bacon. His name is Sergeant Bacon. Yeah. Oh my, don't do it again. <laughs> I love Bacon though. I hope he's not offended. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think he, he's fully conscious. He looks like he's he looks happy too though. Too much coffee with me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We're gonna hear from him. I see later on. I taste rainbows with my eyes. I think I think that's his situation. <laughs> I think so. Hit me, well, Ken. Um what costumes are unusual for you here in Russia? Yeah. So I, uh, there are a few things that uh, I'm, I've gotten used to that are a little bit unusual, like um, the importance of taking your coat off and putting it in a cloakroom. It's not such a big thing in the UK, right? We're, well, we bring a coat with us, we put it on the back of the chair. It's usually not a big, big coat like we have here, right? Mm -hmm. but it's usually a raincoat and it's just a bit of rain and you just put it on the back of your chair when you go to a place and it's not like big cloakroom, it's not such a big thing. Oh. But in Russia, it's it's quite a serious event, right? You go into a place, right. even a shopping center, and yes. there's a cloakroom, and you put your coat in there. That's interesting yeah. because so we have, you know, we have the same thing in the Philippines. Yeah? No, I'm really? kidding. We don't have snow <laughs> there. We don't have winter, of course. Yes. <laughs> no winter. Yeah. Aren't you unfulfilled without winter? Well, um, <laughs> it's a matter of getting used to. Mm -hmm. Other thing, uh, we don't, you know, uh, Irish, Northern Irish people don't actually uh, have a law against just cr walking across the road whenever and wherever, mm -hmm. like jaywalking, yeah. it's called in some places. Uh, most of the time in Ireland, Northern Ireland, you just walk across when you know it's safe. Like, there's nothing coming, I'm crossing the road. Unless it's like a big motorway or something, then, right. you know, you should use your judgment, right? Uh, but here, of course, there's that law, you know, you don't you don't just cross anywhere. And I, I had to kind of, I found out about that. And I was like, okay, makes sense. I'm doing that. And have you religiously... Yeah, you know, absolutely. I, I'm, I'm doing that. I'm going to still do that. And it's important. I, mean, I think it's important. Wow. So, but I, it's not a thing in, in our different, I mean, different level of traffic and stuff. It's more rural mm -hmm. and uh, it's not a big deal. Like you, you, you can cross the road and not a big deal. Uh, these covers for your shoes, you know, if you go to a doctors or different places where they're, they're particular about the, the, cl the cleanliness of the floor and stuff. Hygiene. Bach yeah. Bachili or something. I, I've, I've never, never heard of it. Anyway, they're shoe covers, usually blue, you know, put them over your shoes. I have to say though that in some hospitals in the Philippines, including clinics, um, yeah, this, we do have this practice and uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah and I think it I, makes sense it's a kind I'm, of protection I'm sure there's somewhere there I've seen it before not just in Russia I mean I'm sure it's somewhere in the UK mm -hmm. but not to the extent it's here and it's quite yeah it's pretty popular here I think to have those I mean, everywhere medical especially. I feel very uncomfortable though every time I yeah. wear them because I you know it creates this annoying sound every <laughs> step <laughs> Is it is it fantastic? It's it kind of reminds me a little bit of wearing clown shoes. <laughs> 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 yeah. and if they if they squeaked every time you walk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where's our pig? Our where's friend our pig? Here. Yeah. <laughs> Except that his you know sound is more pleasing <laughs> than the sound of plastic. Maybe I should bring the pig when I go to such places. Yeah. Like, I will see the reactions. <laughs> They're gonna laugh at you for sure. Mm, okay. Now, um, what important or interesting sites have you seen in Novosibirsk? Yeah. So, uh, for me, pretty important uh, the zoo. Oh. Uh, I've been there a couple of times. Ligers, can. Ligers, I know them. Have it's you been a, to the zoo? Well, well not yeah, the in zoo. Novosibirsk, okay. but yeah. yeah. Uh, it's great. Yes, it's, it's a good zoo. It's, it's a mix of variety. Wait, wait. Uh, Langer, mm -hmm. That's a mix of lion and tiger. Yeah. 
That's right. I know a lot about yeah. animals, so. Yeah. There, yeah, you do? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's this, I think it's called Manuel, this cat. Mm -hmm. Ken, you know the grumpy cat online? Yeah, of course. This is the much better than the grumpy cat. Oh. It's like, I looked at the picture. It's like the we, real life. We came to this, came to the cage of the manual, right? And there's, you know, the way there's a picture and some information, right, in front of the cage. I was like, wow, they took that picture when the cat was really grumpy, <laughs> and then I saw the cat sitting in the tree on a branch, and it just looked exactly the same as the picture. It was like, <laughs> you know, don't touch me, <laughs> don't look like, at me. Uh, that cat. Uh, it's probably old or I don't know. I imagine <laughs> I like a gr grumpy old. I, I don't want to sound stereotypical, but like grumpy old lady. Like, you could offend cats everywhere. Uh, okay, I'm sorry to all the cats listening out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the zoo's great. Uh, I like it actually. It's you know polar bear, tiger stuff like that, or prancing, but that's normal in any zoo. It's a little bit you know not so. Not so interesting because they're just going back and forth, back and forth. But the monkeys, mm -hmm. uh, lots of different animals, they are, they're having a party every day, right? Did you give them high fives? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> high five, high five. Hey, what's up, dude? No, uh, I gotta say no. <laughs> Do you do something different in the in, in the Philippines with in the zoo? <laughs> I wish I could give them high fives, but well, mm -hmm. they're unpredictable. Mm -hmm. So we kind of like children, I guess. Um, planetarium? Have you ever been to planetarium? Oh God, no! What? I I have. Where where have you been? I've been to just a few places. Remember, I've only been here for roughly seven months. Mm -hmm. So okay. I've, well, I guess a bit of winter and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, before you continue, um, I've been to the Monument of Glory where mm -hmm. they have this eternal fire, yeah. the uh, eternal flame. Yeah. It doesn't, you yeah. know, it's always there. And then I saw the T3, T34 model, which they uh -huh. use. It's yeah. a kind of tank, um, which know, they used yeah. in World War II to yeah. defeat na Nazi Germany. Uh -huh. um, where else have I been apart from that? Um, just one I, tank. One, <laughs> several times. They used this one time to <laughs> the, defeat. Wow, yeah. impressive. The enemy. <laughs> yeah. No, I. Yeah. One time. I saw oh, several yeah, things. Yeah, right. And then um, <laughs> the other one, I, I'm just not sure how to say this one or pronounce this. Nebarejnaya. Nebarejnaya. There's uh -huh. like a Ferris wheel there. Okay. You can see the bridge and um, the continuation on of the I think it metro. translates to like on the bank, maybe. Maybe. Uh, well, I don't, I don't judge me. Tell, tell us if you know what. I'm not going to judge you, but they're judging you right <laughs> they're now. They're judging me silently <laughs> in their hearts, in their minds. They, they're going to, they're going to, we're going to make a wee bit interactive yeah. and they'll tell us what it means, right? Yeah. Based on your, I, I, I they, wish, you they know. can translate that. <laughs> mm -hmm. They'll so probably the right Ferris wheel and stuff. How was it? Um, it was really good. That's where I met this, you know, um, girl who was interested in meeting somebody who's a foreigner and uh -huh. yeah, walked yeah. along with you us. Told us about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, so you were photographing, and then she came along. Right. Oh, the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel in the background. Oh, you're not that old. Oh. You remember perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then there's uh, another one. Okay, before I let you continue, um, I'm not sure how do you say this. Zviazda. Zviazda. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's like a beach. And um, was, yeah. although I have to say, it translates though, I, to star, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I was told it's like. Star it's in, a beach. In Russian. Oh, okay. um, I, I did swim though. I just yeah. um, there was a party that time. There was a concert by some Russian band, okay. and uh, there was a foam party. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. And I've never been to any of these things. <laughs> okay. And what else? Um, yeah, yeah, I went there in the summer, mm -hmm. and uh, did, I cannot tell them other things that I did. Mm -hmm. This is rated PG. Okay. You know what PG stands for? <laughs> parental guidance. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's it. It was my child. <laughs> okay. What about you? <clears throat> I another one. I've been to Nova. What's that? The oh no, so it's the theater opera and ballet. Ah uh, oh okay the yeah. one on big one you I mean landmark site. Mm -hmm. In Lenin Square. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 I know. Have you ever been inside? Well, I was outside. <laughs> I took photos <laughs> from <Impressive>. the outside. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, 
I've been to a couple, you know, two, two or three uh, different productions in there. Mm. And it's quite, it's quite good. Yeah, I mean, very good, very good, great play. I've never been to. Have you been to any musical theater or anything? Yeah, yet? in the Philippines, yeah. yes, of course. <laughs> but here, I mean, in no, Oxford, not, not, not here. Yet. Not yet. You should. You should. You really should. I would. Love I'm to sure try it. people would agree. Let's do. Uh huh. Any other places? Um, I don't know. Let me see. I always plan. I've always planned to go to uh, Zaltsovsky Park. Say that it's again. It's a big park, you know. Zaltsovsky Park. Zaltsovsky. You know, uh, Zaltsovsky Metro Station. Oh, okay. it's, it's a little bit further from that, like out of the way, but um, there's. It's quite a big park. Big big park. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, do, I think it's like a big, big green area from what I gather. I was there once, but mm, I didn't see too much. It was a bit cold that day and I didn't see too much. So I've always planned to go there and to visit. We can go there together <laughs> next summer. <laughs> okay. I mean, you mean <laughs> With your this, girlfriend. I mean, this summer. <laughs> that this would summer. be awkward though. Like, you know, the three of us walking, you're like a couple and then I'm here on the other side. Yeah. Hey yeah. guys, what's up? So. <laughs> uh, my, she will be my wife then. Yeah. Oh, soon. Yeah, very soon, very soon. Well, I can be your photographer while you're walking in the park. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. We can use, and we can still have some can, nice conversation. Yeah, we could buy you an ice cream as payment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream? Um, chocolate. I like Irish cream. Obviously, mm. right? Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> no, I mean, caramel is great too. Yeah. Pistachio. Lots of people say yeah, pistachio. I, I I don't know if I've eaten pistachio. I know it's like popular in the states, at least from what I hear. Bubble gum. Have you ever eaten bubble gum? Yeah, but, bubble but gum? I'm not a big fan of it. I like. I probably liked it more when I was a kid, you know, younger. But bubble gum ice cream mm -hmm. has a certain taste to it. I mean, I could never eat bubble gum. Like you're not allowed to eat bubble yeah. gum, but you can. It was sort of, I felt naughty, like I'm eating ice cream, <laughs> bubble gum, ice cream. Bubble gum, yeah. yeah, it was kind of like a naughty thing. Like, oh, but it's nice flavor, I think. Um, so tell me, Ken, have you another question for me? I have another one for you. <laughs> have you ever been to the cinema here? Yeah. So people who know me uh, uh, will know that I, I love film, mm -hmm. cinema and stuff. So I, I, don't, I don't go too often. But because I enjoy it, watching at home, but I do go to like different. I have been to lots of different cinemas here actually. Um, Paibeda, right? Victory Cinema. Say that again. Paibeda. I think it's Paibeda. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it, you know, Victory Cinema. Mm -hmm. Have you been there? No. <laughs> never been. Have Victory you? Cinema. No. I, have you ever been to the cinema? I've never been to any cinemas here. At all. For the record. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I could never do that. Wow. Well. <sighs> I hardly I ever watch, watch films. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, in the cinema. Uh, we're not friends anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'll forgive you. I'll forgive okay. You. Why don't you tell us what your experience was like Sorry. when you first saw a film completely in Russian? Um, oh, oh, well, that's going back a bit. But, well, I, I watched, I think it was Harry Potter. And it was in like Russian. Harry Potter, and um, my Russian was much poorer. This is like eight years ago, mm -hmm. and maybe maybe nine. And I watched Harry Potter, and I was shocked to hear shocked to hear him being called Gary, because uh, Gary's a different name in the UK. I two know, different names. I know. And Gary Potter, I was like, what? <laughs> I just want to interrupt you. Just but I liked it actually. For a sec, because I know for a fact that in Russian, um, if uh, a word begins with H, they mm. automatically change it to G. Well, for example, a lot uh, of the time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For, for example, um, hamburger becomes yeah. Gamburger. Right. Or um, like Hitler becomes Gitler. Right. And that's why um, and we have the Harry word Potter Gitt, becomes so that Gitt. Gitt. perfect thing. The word Git, yeah. Gitler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, I don't know if our <laughs> listeners will get so, that. Moving on. So yeah. you were talking about your first experience. How was it? It, Did your ears bleed? Did no, you... no, 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 great. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoy. I mean, I didn't understand everything, mm -hmm. maybe a lot of things, but it was great. And Paibeda is good um, because you can, if you want, listen in English with subtitles, mm -hmm. or you can, I mean, I, I could also watch in Russian too, and not just in Paibeda, in other cinemas as well. 
and I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy mm-hmm. the experience. I mean, it's good practice for my Russian. Right. You don't have to. You don't feel uncomfortable. Like you need to respond to this. Exactly. You're just sitting there. You're listening. See what you can find out. And it's enjoyable usually, wow. especially if you're like. Uh, a lot of the time, I'm like, oh, I know this now. Yeah. You know, <laughs> n- now, now that I've improved a bit, um, I'm like, wow, I, I understand. I can. I know what this joke is, and I can laugh. <laughs> and I always feel like, oh wow, great. Well, that I know this. It's a good way to you know improve your language in the same way, of course, that when、um, Russian people they learn English, they also try to listen to English、mm-hmm. audios or, of course, watch、yeah. films. The nat. It's kind、learn. of a natural. You know, natural listening, like like what they're doing now, okay, right? Yes. With their ears. <laughs> what I have to say, though,、um, when it comes to my experience,、um, this one I know it's not in Russia. This one's in Kazakhstan.、Mm. I I went to the cinema there because I was invited by a friend.、Mm. Um, it was、uh, what film was it? It was、uh, Iron Man three. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> so when we got in, I thought. So when the film started, I thought, oh, I didn't know Robert Downey Jr. could s- speak Russian <laughs> very well. He was so fluent. Yeah. And I thought, oh, and then when people started laughing, and I thought, ah,、uh, yes, what, what did he say?、Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I, I was like、You're、an idiot. Yeah, I was like an idiot there, sitting, everyone's laughing, and like, ah ha. So yeah. yeah, that's why you don't go to the <laughs> cinema often. Okay. He, But, but I have to say though,、um, I, I still watch、um, Russian shows、um, yeah. or I mean some programs. I watch、um, they they call it in Russian Golos the Voice. Yeah, you know the、yeah. Voice, right? Yeah, it's in yeah. the UK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they have a Russian version. Yeah,、here. yeah. So from time to time, I, is I it、listen. good? Yeah, of yeah. course. I don't actually watch it. I must confess, even in Britain and English, <laughs> I'm not a fan. I like reality shows. I, X Factor is more for me. I, I prefer X Factor. But、um, I, I watch、yeah. X Factor too. Yeah, yeah. But the Ukrainian version. Ukrainian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.、Okay. Which, by the way, you know,、um, I know it has nothing to do with Russian, but I just felt like when when I. Listen to to them speaking in Ukrainian. I thought、mm-hmm. it sounds kind of like Russian in、mm-hmm. a way. I don't、kind、know. Common, don't know. Don't know.、Mm-hmm. Anyway,、um, food can food. How、oh, food? What about food? <laughs>、uh, let me tell you what I miss.、Uh, so I mean, here in Russia, two and a half years. I was at home a little bit, right?、Mm-hmm. But、um, well, people would automatically say, "What do you miss? You kind of miss food, right?" Um, do you miss food from the Philippines? Of course. Yeah. So I mean, fish and chips, but I mean, I kind of miss it a bit. I'm, I'm honest. If I, when I was last in Nor- Northern Ireland, I was fish and chips. Right. We got to taste、oh, yeah. fish and chips. You're have you're you ever、really、eaten British? Never eaten fish and chips. I have. I mean, it's it's fast food, right? But it's not it's not bad. I mean, it's 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 bad, but it's not bad. <laughs> you know what I mean?、Um, it's still、uh, vegetable and good fish, right? But I tried it here in、How、a place、it? called Clever. It's it's a ver- Russian version of Clover, you know,、mm-hmm. or Shamrock, and it was quite good. You know,、oh, it was、okay. not exactly the same as what you get, but pretty close and close and close enough. And it was good. And it was tasty. It was delicious. At least you have something from you know from your home、yeah. country that you can、yeah. eat here. I, I don't think there's a cafe or restaurant that's dedicated to fi- Filipino dishes. It's, it's not <laughs> not so common, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah.、Um, Anything else that you miss back home? There, I mean, so a traditional food is like a fried food. breakfast. Come again? A fried breakfast. Okay. Is it quite traditional food? Not everyday food, but it's quite traditional food. Like once a month, maybe、mm-hmm. maybe less. And it includes like fried sausages, fried bacon, Mr. Pig. Oh my God. <laughs> Please don't say that. You're offending him. <clears throat> I'm offending Sergeant Baker.、Uh, fried egg,、uh, maybe toast. Beans are absolutely you know beans and tomato sauce and things like that. And it's a big you know it's popular enough in Northern Ireland. I mean not to eat every day, but and I do miss that a little bit. But I make my own, you know.、Mm-hmm. I make my own of that. Oh,、and、good so for you. It's it's quite tasty. I maybe one so once a week usually I have this and taste of home. Still a little bit of taste, almost good. At least you can make your own food because, in my、mm. case, believe it or not, I've been away from the Philippines for、um, roughly、uh, six years now. And for the six years, 
I've never ever cooked anything. So、what? I just eat in a cafe, or、what? I just buy、um, takeaway food. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sounds、wow. crazy, right? Wow. <laughs> you need you need someone to cook for you. Yeah, <laughs> some of my friends, you know, they tell me I think you should get married. Like,、uh-huh. <laughs> wow. well, we'll see about that. <laughs> or just to have a cat. <laughs> Be a cat guy.、Yeah. <laughs> then the cat can't cook, <laughs> unless you get a very talented cat. I one more thing. Chinese food, and I know this sounds weird. Like I miss Chinese food from my home. Yeah, I know. And I'm far from China, you... right? But in our, in my little town,、uh, Chinese food is everywhere. Like、oh. there are like I don't know, twenty two thousand people in my town, and I think there are like twenty restaurants, Chinese <laughs> restaurants, ten ten twenty, and so they're everywhere. Like and、um, and Brits like Chinese food. food. Yeah, yeah, they're big into Chinese food. Wow. And I I mean it's British version of Chinese food,、mm-hmm. if you know what I mean. But I I miss it a bit.、Mm-hmm. But there, I found, I found, I mean, there are some here、mm-hmm. in this city. But in Rostov on Don, when I first came to Russia, there wasn't any.、Mm-hmm. I couldn't find any Chinese restaurant. So I went online and I found out how to make my favorite sauce.、Mm-hmm. And I I do my own kind of Chinese food. Not too often, but sometimes. Kislo slatki, kislo slatki sauce, sweet and sour. Oh, oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Okay, I understand that. I do this sweet and sour sauce, and then chicken and rice, and it's not quite the same, but it's it's tasty enough. Yeah. And I do that, and I'm quite happy I found out about that. That、Good、I could do that. It's not so hard, not as hard as you would imagine. Well,、um, maybe you can teach me one day.、Uh, <laughs> the guy who never cooks. <laughs> I guess I could try. As for me, though, when it comes to food, I should say that,、um, you know, I am stereo. Typically Asian in a way、mm-hmm. that I always look for rice, 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 rice.、Mm-hmm. But of course we have.、Um, I would say that we have a different kind of rice in the Philippines. It's、yeah. better in quality. No、yeah. offense. Fluffier, and it's you know、um, stickier and、um, yeah. yeah, of course sweeter. It depends on the variety because、yeah. there are several types of that. Wow! Yeah, I just thought rice was rice. No, <laughs> different. And is、kinds. it white rice or brown rice or both? Yeah, yeah, all kinds of different. Wow!、Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. And、um, seafood, tropical fruit.、Um, I would say rambutan. Rambutan is a kind of. A, it's closely related to lychee. If you、mm-hmm. know, if the listeners are、it's、familiar fruit, with that, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah it I've tried it recently. Rambutan? No, not rambutan. Lychee. Lychee. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no rambutan. I, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> no, but I tried lychee, and I quite liked it. It's an. It is. It's completely new it's very, to me. Completely、oh、new. God, I love it. But it's great. Yeah. yeah. There's a stone inside. Am I right in saying stone、yes. inside? Yeah. But white flesh and all, and it's、right. it's quite sweet and juicy. It's, it's nice texture and everything. Yeah, kind of looks like an eyeball at first. <laughs> you, get, you get over that <laughs> eyeball. What an analogy! But anyway, <laughs> they could have called it eyeball fruit. <laughs> no, I don't、out. think that's you know.、Um, I don't think people would eat that. <laughs> mm-hmm. That doesn't sound so good. Um, apart from that,、um, I miss, of course,、um, salted egg. Salted egg. Yeah. But you could put a salt salt on the egg. No,、too. but you know when you、um, there is a way of preparing egg where you have kind of like submerge it in water with、yeah. with salt.、Okay. I don't know for how long, and then、uh, after that, because I've never made one. Okay. <laughs> As you know, I don't even cook. But we do have that. Do you have a saucepan? <laughs> <laughs> I, in my flat, yes, but、uh, I've never used it. Wow! <laughs> yeah, wow! <I> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> anyway, so I so, just salted. So, so listeners, do you want to help Ken out? Do you want to cook for him? <laughs> Maybe they can teach me how to cook some wow, Russian、okay. dishes. Master class. Yeah,、uh-huh. but it has to be in English. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> I, I won't be able to understand. I think you'll、that. get some young females texting. Later. <laughs>、uh-huh. Wow, that would be interesting. <laughs> what about Russian food? Russian what you, food. What do you eat? Well,、um, you know, I I like borscht. I think、mm-hmm. um, it, me well, too. It's very popular. Yeah, with or without smetana. Smetana, sour cream. Yeah. yeah. Sour、um, cream. It doesn't really matter to me. What? Yeah, I、You're、mean, not Russian. Um, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> 
fully no, Russian. You have your Ushanka, but you're not Russian. <laughs> um, I, you know, at first I was like, I don't like mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. It's just something about it, unless it's like in a chicken burger. But I was like, no, no, no smetana, no smetana. And um, but then I, I, one day someone accidentally gave me with smetana. I was like, hey, this is nice. You know, it, it adds because it's quite bitter without it. Mm-hmm. And when you put in smetana, it neutral, it like, makes it a little bit more neutralized, and it tastes good. And you know, now I like smetana. I don't eat it often, but I like smetana or sour cream. Oh my know. god! So you have been and russified uh, a little bit. And borscht smetana. I mean, I will take it with smetana, not mm-hmm. sour cream, no problem. Okay, it's the best way for me. Uh, Blini. Right? I love blini. In different from the pancakes in the UK, we would call them more crepes, like a French version of pancake. Okay. Um, <laughs> you just said something there that uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I hope they didn't pick it up. <laughs> people will. Some people will know what that means. It's not such a bad thing. But pelmeni, pelmeni. Yeah. If I if I can say that properly, vareniki. Have you ever tried them? Simple Vareniki. foods. Oh, I think okay. I yeah, think yeah, if yeah, people yeah, yeah. are going to teach you how to cook, uh-huh. they can start with pelmeni or vareni. No, vareni. I'm not so crazy about pelmeni. I no. don't know. No. You like it? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I I pick the variety carefully, but yeah, mm-hmm. pelmeni. It's very simple, easy to make, great, quick, and everything. I like it. Vareniki sometimes too, and maybe with cherry, maybe with potato, mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. no, maybe not for you. Very What about much. cutlets? Cutlets, yeah, but I think the cutlet is not exactly Rush. what I what I know as a cutlet. Mm-hmm. Cutlet is more like a fillet for me, but it's kind of a kind of a meatball, isn't it? Yeah, but they're tasty. They're good. Um, no, I don't know. You're, like, <laughs> you're against it. I'm Down not saying I'm cuts. against it. Oh my god, they're gonna hunt me down. Let's yeah. um, hunt yeah. this like a wild boar. This. Like Sergeant you know. Pig, <laughs> Sergeant Pig <laughs> for hating on our food. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just I not a. There's going to be some fan. people that don't like them either. Yeah. Don't panic. Mm. Anyway, um, mm. 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 <laughs> food. I'm actually kind of hungry. You're hungry now. <laughs> Talking about food. Well, and what, what will you make me? I'm gonna make you um, <laughs> a sandwich. That one I can make. You can make sandwiches. Yes. I'm impressed. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite? <laughs> you talk about it as though it's a talent. I mean, you told me you can't boil an egg, basically. <laughs> so I'm impressed that you can make a sandwich. Oh God! Please don't embarrass me. <laughs> I'm sure the listeners are really ridiculing me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, I have a couple more questions for you. Um, hmm. Have you visited other cities in Russia? I mean, of course, quite, you mentioned about, quite a few. Yeah. yeah. So before I really came to Novosibirsk, I traveled as a tourist. You know, I've been to Rostov on Don. Right. So while while in Rostov on Don, I went to Sochi. It was 2014 mm-hmm. Paralympics. I went to. Wow. I went to a hockey match, hockey game there, uh, with a few of my classmates. Different students there, international students, right? Went on the on the train down to Sochi. We, I was in, uh, is it Taganrog? Taganrog, I think, is there. Oh, no. uh, it's a popular place anyway in that region. Um, but I also, previous to that, I was in Moscow, of course. Uh, I went to Yakutsk. Y- yeah, Yakutsk. Yakutsk is like. It's, it's, cold, in the east, it's in the coldest right? region, like okay. one of the coldest regions, like way up north. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was there, and in in a countryside in there, and in the city, mm-hmm. um, a little bit wild and different and, and unusual. Even I guess for Russian people, I, I would guess. Uh, I was so Novosibirsk. I mean, yeah, I've been to Saint Petersburg, Moscow, Yakutsk. Wow! I went on the train. You know. Oh. So, have you tried that Trans-Siberian <clears throat> I railway? Went, I went from St. Petersburg to Moscow mm-hmm. by train, and I decided not to stop, right? And I went the whole way to Vladivostok. Oh my god! I'm pre-planned. Yeah. All the way to the east. Stopped off uh, at, at Lake Baikal, seen Irkutsk, I seen uh, Ulan Ude, wow. I seen... Uh, and got to Vladivostok, yeah. 
Um, I like Vladivostok, you know. Um, the sea. Well, it's the Northern Irishness it, in me. It must right? be warmer there. The sea. I, I don't know. I don't I mean, know. I mean, it was the summer to anyway. Nova Spears. It was the summer anyway. I can't say. But uh, and I went to out on a boat, a ferry, to uh, Ruski Island, mm -hmm. and I liked it. You know, I liked it. I liked the ferry journey and seeing the sea. And there's something nice about that. I, I just I'm connected to the sea, Ken. You know. I I envy you. I'm not a I'm not like a pirate or anything <laughs> like Jack Sparrow, but I love the sea. And it was you know, interesting. I haven't been to any other places here, but. In the summer, I'm hoping to go to Moscow and of course mm. St. Petersburg, and later on to some other parts of Russia, maybe Vladivostok, yeah. Yeah. Sochi, yeah. of course. Yeah. And um, I want to see um, how do you call it? Not um, oh my God! There's this place that my students always tell me. Um, oh, Altai, yeah. Altai Mountains. The Altai Mountains. Have you been there? No, but I'd love to go. Yeah, I, I mean, would really love to. I've go. heard a lot of yeah. interesting Good stuff. Good report. I love the mountains in my region, yeah. as you know. Like, so I would love to go to the Altai. I mean, much bigger than my mountains, and I think it would be a re really great experience. Yeah, I would love to go there too. Yeah. Anyway, I guess that's about it for now. Did, did we find out what the crack was? Yes, we found it out. Thank okay, <laughs> see you later, Ken. So see you later. See you guys later. And to all of you, uh, what would we say? Good. To all, a good night.